Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a uh, term that I use that uh, quite a few of you have been asking me what exactly does that mean and it is about enablement package. What's an en enablement package? A lot of you have been wondering what does that do exactly. So Windows 10 22H2 is going to arrive this fall and it is a enablement package. What that means is simply the update itself does not contain anything, but it triggers on-off switches within Windows. So in Windows 11 and in Windows 10, one of the things that happens is often there are updates that push stuff, that will push you know, new features, will push different types of features, and they are dormant. So they're not there yet. We're not gonna see it. For example, file explorer in windows 11 we some of you have the file explorer with tabs some don't well a enablement package would push the switch for on off of that feature tabs and file explorer in windows 10 what we know for 22h2 is that it might actually trigger a couple of things one of them is in windows 10 the uh, action center when it is in a uh, do not disturb mode or when it is in you know a mode where you don't want to be bothered there will be some changes a few changes there uh, so we know that but very small things like that so a switch is going to be turned on when you install it that's you're just going to say behave in this way now but it's not implemented within the update the update itself just tells it to switch it on or switch it off depending on what it wants to do so that's an enablement package. The other term that I wanted to talk about has specific to do with Windows 11. So a lot of you have been coming back saying, I heard about a thing called moments for next year. What's moments? So moments is <laughs> basically 23H2, which was the big update for Windows 11 next year, has been scrapped as a big update itself. But it's not really gone. It is still going to be there with now what they call moments. So instead of giving us one big update with a lot of features, they're going to give you moments where a cumulative update is going to actually add new features to Windows 11. So when you get these cumulative updates, once they're installed, you restart, you'll have stuff, you'll have things in your Windows 11 system that you didn't have before. You'll have changes in the taskbar and the menus and the settings, uh, whatever they want to add as features. And they're calling that moments. And there's going to be several moments next year. So that means there's going to be three to four to five, maybe cumulative updates that are going to add features. So in total, even though they're going to be, um, you know, three, four, five updates during the year, at some point, there's going to be updates. In the end, when we get to December of 2023 next year, you should pretty much have all the features that 23H2 was supposed to be, or Sun Valley 3. But because they're kind of scrapped a big update, it's just going to come through, once again, what they call moments, which are just cumulative updates that will add features through the year next year in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.